It's over in Clare in Suffolk where there have been reports of disembodied voices and full-bodied apparitions. What will we discover when we investigate Clare Castle and the graveyard? Stay tuned to find out. Clare is a small town situated between Bury St Edmunds and Sudbury. It's one of the oldest settlements in the area and there's evidence of prehistoric man can be traced back here along with Saxon and Roman pottery. Surely a settlement this old must have some incidents that resulted in a haunting. In 1349, the Black Death reached East Anglia, a terrifying illness that resulted in victims' skins swelling up and turning black. The swellings, or buboes as they're known, when cut released a black, sticky blood along with a foul smell. Victims also battled a high fever, vomiting, blood in the lungs and mental disorientation. During this period, Claire was extremely lucky and remarkably only a few people were affected by the disease. But for these few, and the people that knew them, it must have been a terrifying experience. But one of the reasons we came here is for the castle. Owned by Elizabeth de Burr, she visited here regularly. It was also the place of work for many residents of Clare. There were orchards filled with pear and apple trees, fish ponds, goldsmiths, carpenters and many other trades went on within the castle walls providing employment for lots of residents of Clare. So this up here is the keep of the castle and this would have been the centre point when it was a fully functioning castle. Um, this is where Mainly, it would have been controlled from. This would be the main control point. Um, and this is all that's left of it, just this small wall here. But you can see how cool it would have been, how magnificent it would have been when it was a fully functioning castle. So, yeah. Uh, so we were just talking, we met a lady um, up on the top of the hill, one of my friends, and she said that there's this place here called Ladies Walk, and apparently people have seen apparitions along here, they've seen, uh, heard footsteps, and all kinds of weird stuff happens along here, so thought we'd have a little look at it now, and uh, come back later when it's dark and do an investigation here. recent years, in about the 1800s, a railway was built that goes all the way through the castle and this could have resulted in some hauntings as well. I mean, you think about how many people have been on this platform and the platform over there and the, there must have been undocumented attacks, maybe even murders that happened there. Um, and obviously when it came wartime, children would be going off to the countryside, leaving their parents, you've got some quite strong emotions there which you know, could result in a haunting. So hopefully we'll come here tonight and see if anything is actually going on. Um, and you know, hopefully we'll get something good. We'll find out later. It seems weird now that there is almost nothing at all remaining of the castle other than the uh, keep itself. Everything else is gone. There is, I mean, you think about it, 500, 600, 700 years ago, this would be teeming with life. There'd be people running about with livestock, people making stuff, people picking stuff off the trees. It would be absolutely brilliant. And it's all gone now, but hopefully we'll be able to catch some echoes of the past tonight. It's not 
dark yet, but um, it is quite late and obviously there's not as many people about, which is ideally what we're looking for. So we're going to start our investigation now. Um, before we start this bridge here, I don't really know what's happened here, but you know, it's worth a start for uh, so we're going to go and start with an EVP session. Is there anyone here of us? Can you come and talk into this little box in my left hand? We're a bit confused at the moment with our EMF meter. Obviously, like I said, the first LED is not working. And then we started uh, tilting it and the light turned on. But Carl was just standing here now and swizzling around. As you can see, he holds it at the same angle and the light turns on there. And it doesn't turn on when he pulls it back. It's the same angle and everything. So, <coughs> theoretically, there's something it made of EMF standing right here. Oh, it's stronger there. Unless... Yeah, no, this is really MF. Underground power cables is the only thing That's I can I think. That's what I was just thinking. <laughs> 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 I just had to... <laughs> it's recording. Hello, um, my name's Luke, this is Marcus and this is Cole. We've come here to talk to you today. Um, this little box in my right hand, so I'm going to turn it on, and when I do, if you shout as loud as you can into it, you might be able to hear your voice, so, yeah, I'll talk now. Uh, yeah, so we're setting up some motion sensors at the moment, on the station. There isn't really anything that's going to cross the path, I mean, we've tried before, flies don't set them off, insects don't set them off or anything like that, so, you know, anything that sets a motion sense off is going to be quite weird. Um, so we're going to set one up there, where do you think, when you look at the others? Um, one on the other side of the station, I think. Just yeah. because, simply, we're over here doing stuff, nothing's over there, um, so... Whereabouts? I don't know. This camera's completely lost you two. Ah, uh, it's got you. I'm seeing kind of that area there, so... Yeah, put it down. Put it on there. Right, so Marcus and Luke have set the motion sensors up. We'll be seeing if we get anything up on there. <laughs> yeah, just put it, just put it somewhere down there. That'll put capture the whole thing. That's cool. If there's anyone here on this platform that I'm standing on now, can you come over and stand in front of this little white box? Like, move something in front of that box and the light will turn on. It's very easy to do. Either show yourself in front of it or move something in front of it. And it will turn the light on and it will let us know you're here. Wait, Marcus just said he heard something. I was standing dead still. Marcus has run over there. I heard something down here as well. I heard something down here. Look, I just... Unless there was something walking, someone walking on the other side of that garden. Yeah? Yeah. I just heard someone say something in there. It, I just heard someone go... I don't know what it was, but they just went... It was like a one syllable thing. Yeah. yeah. Carl's getting stuff down there.
I did hear, like, as you were saying, Marcus heard something. I yeah. heard crunching of leaves. Yeah. I oh no, was it down there? No, it was closer to me. I, I mean, I was standing if still it, then. No, if you said you heard crunching of leaves, I was definitely making a hell of a noise down there because I was. Could have been I, you, but it sounded closer. I was like watching, walking on loads yeah. of sticks and stuff. Everything was like breaking. Yeah, it so it could have been, been that, but I definitely heard something. A voice, unless there was a walker going around the. You would have seen him come out over there, though, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, we wouldn't have been yeah. a person. There's no people. So that was definitely, I just definitely held the board. This completely isn't picking up anything down here. We, I really want a, re a continuous POV cam. Yeah. With, like, good sound quality. Can, can you come and talk into this box with my left hand, please? What was that? Did you hear that? I didn't hear anything, did you? Oh, I don't know, probably an enemy. Did you hear it? There's nothing on it. No, I think it, if that, it, sound, it was really quiet, but it sounded like just an animal or something. I don't know if this is on or off. Press it. It was on just now. Right, okay. Now That's it's turned on. Spirit box. Yeah, but I don't know if it's a, I thought it was a person. A person? Where? I thought it sounded like an actual person. I heard it, but I thought it was a real person. Yeah, that's what I mean, that's what I mean, it was like... Like, it was like, you you know, like the one in Kennington? Yeah. If you whistle it, or like whistling. I didn't You hear that? I keep on hearing loads of weird noises. I do. I don't know what they are. So we made it to the uh, top of the castle, walked Whoa. all the, uh, that big long walk up to the top. Really? I mean, if we have anything really scary happen up here, we've got a hell of a long run down. Yeah, we're not Did anyone to the just... Back down. A long run down, a long run down, a long run down. Yeah, we're not Did anyone to the back just... Back down. I thought I heard something. Might be me. I heard something over there when you looked over there. Over there? You looked over there as soon as this kind of noise happened. I think it's you eating, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't him eating when I heard it, though. Right, stop eating for a second. Can you come and talk into this box, please? We just caught a light anomaly on camera. This can't be a reflection from the infrared light as it moves at a different speed to the rest of the reflection. Also, it can't be an insect as it comes out of nowhere and it doesn't have any wings. Is this an orb? Yeah, I felt warm. Oh, it's a bit of shelter from the wind. That was your footsteps that I heard. <laughs> Is there someone here with us? No. I'm gonna go and get the thing. Get what? Yeah, um, here you go. Right. Just to try it. 
I'll circle around that way first. And then... All right, cool, mate. Oh, I was hoping that was you just then. <laughs> Did that just go off then? Or? I thought I saw it. It might have just been because you shook it a bit. Maybe. But... That box Carl's got in his hand, can you come up to it, please? If you do, can you try and make the lights flash? I don't, it doesn't feel like there's much here, it just feels really calm and peaceful. To me, anyway. Yeah, I'm tired a bit. I really. I don't know what it is, but I just really want to check out that other place. Because like, I, earlier when I, went, when, when I went there, I definitely felt something. Yeah. Like something was there. Yeah. Spirit box and EVP, then we'll go. Can you tell us the name of this castle? Okay, nothing at all today. Turn it on first, <laughs> then start it going. Is there anybody here? said something though. Yeah. Can you say that again? Can you say what you said again? How many people are on the top of this castle? Voice. Yeah. My them. Walk around the back bit in the spirit box. Yeah? Yeah. What are you doing? What? That's sort of hurt. It kind of went dodgy a little bit. What did? It like, kind of stopped like that temporarily for a brief second. Is there anybody here? What's your name?
Both Carl and I noticed that Marcus was acting quite strangely. We can't help but make the link between the voice that said demon and the fact that Marcus is acting this way. We don't think he's been fully possessed by something, but we definitely think something is influencing his actions and his thoughts. Man. Can you just you sure you're alright? Like yeah. he's really concerned. No, 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 Marcus. Are you sure you're alright? Yeah. Even up there, when you started doing the spirit box, I spoke to you and you were zoned out. What? When, I, when you was up there, yeah. and I said, come on, let's go around the back of the castle, yeah. you were completely zoned out. <laughs> you was literally, just as you was walking through, your hand was like there, which tends to be kind of something of concern. And even when you're just standing there doing a spirit box, your face kept on changing. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I'm fine. Are you sure? <laughs> Alright, come on in. Keep an eye on him. Okay, so, um, I'm going to be, oh, this is really tricky. Right guys, Yeah. we do it here because we're not walking through it, we've got to do our investigation on the track, not walk through the track. Yeah, yeah. so, yeah. What are we doing then? I am not happy here. No, neither am I, this doesn't feel do comfortable. Think it's a weird, really weird feeling. Yes. Yeah. Anyone else getting it hard to breathe? Tight chest. Now that you've... I don't know. As I walked in here, I've started getting like a muscle pain in my neck, actually. I'm just getting a really tight chest and heavy breathing. Is there someone here with us? Is there someone walking towards us? Probably an animal. I see like a complete white mist figure or something. Really? Slightly. But it doesn't seem to be approaching any closer. That's the light at the other end, I think. It's not right at the other end, it's like. Marcus, you've filmed stuff, Marcus. Oh, sorry, I can't. No, I can't see anything. Is that a tree or is that a figure? There. It's a tree. Oh, is that a tree? Maybe it's a tree that I'm seeing. Oh. I can see what you mean. Can you talk to us, please, using this box in my left hand? Did you just move your feet or something, Carl? No. Did you just move your feet or something, Carl? No. I'm not sure, we'll have to... I swear I just heard something move, like... Like that, where you are. I didn't move I've so I've been rooted to the spot. What? I've been rooted to the spot the whole time, I haven't moved. I moved slightly at one point because I heard something fall behind me, but I think that's just a leaf or something. No, I've, I haven't moved at all, I've moved once um, when I just heard you. Something up there. Should we start going? I think we might have to call it a night. Yeah. This place gives me a creep so I don't like it. Yeah, let's call it a night, guys. It's worth than with the others.